What's up, guys? Here in Columbus, Ohio for the RM Classic. We're at Pro's Gym again. We're going to be doing podcasts 11, 12, and 1 p.m. there. Come along with us. It's going to be an adventurous day. I hope you ate. I hope you got your water because you know what? You're going to need it because we're going to go on a journey together. So let's go. <music> All right, guys, so this is some of the behind the scenes here at Pro's Gym in Columbus, Ohio, for the Arnold. We got big Michael Hearn here. It's been awesome doing podcast both days so far. The information that was shared is super valuable. I think you guys will love it. So go check it out and let me know what you think. So we're here at Pro Gym. Big Drew, my brother's here. My wife, Sharice. And uh, we just got done with some podcasts. The crazy. gym has been crazy. The energy's been crazy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people come by the booth. Yeah. Perfect. Come yeah. by the booth, Pro's Gym, Columbus, Ohio. Get a free t-shirt, picture, Ooh. see John Sharice, and you might get to meet Michael Hearn. That's right. Maybe, maybe not. But you will get to meet <laughs> Big Drew. And that's a, that's a, a special in its own, for sure. Rodney's out there, too, as well. Rocking it, man. So really excited about it. We got more to come, man. More to come, more video shoots. So stay tuned for that. So we just left Pro Gym. Had some amazing podcast today that Mike set up for the show. Head to the hotel real quick to get Sharice's socks changed. And then we might be going to all that stuff. here I don't know what to tell you come down right now get in don't get in line just come on find me I'll give you this shirt I don't care whatever you want come get this this is fun this is what we're doing it for We're here in Columbus. I've got my good friend here and iconic figure, Michael Hearn. How you doing, Mike? I'm good. Yeah? I mean, this guy's probably riding a wave because it's been a hell of a weekend. I mean, podcasts, all these different people coming up. Obviously, want to talk to Mike, get a signature from Mike. I mean, we see people take off their shoes at the convention center for you to sign. Belts, um, pictures. Yeah, but more than anything else, it was, it was a, a fun thing for me. This is number two. Yes. This is our second appearance together. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I love is that uh, how much we're growing and doing what we're doing. Um, but the energy that this team brings, and I just want you guys out there, you know, I know that we're wrapping up this weekend and stuff, but if you can be part of the team and come in here, um, my recommendation is to do it. it is, it's uh, an amazing thing. And again, at the end of the day, Titan Medical has helped me um, optimize my health so I can still do this at the level I'm doing it at. And so that's the coolest thing in the world, man. I love it. I mean, 
Number two is just blowing out of the water. I can't wait for many more that we're gonna be doing here. So I'm looking forward to all this. Every time I get to see Mike in person and hang with him, it, it, it's just awesome and unbelievable. And uh, the things that we're doing, man, changing lives, changing people's health, it's a game changer. I'm so excited to be doing it with you. Um, and I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm proud I'm to be here. Honored and privileged to do it too as well. So I just wanna tell you that. Titan times Titan equals mm. results, baby. And we're gonna bring up quality of life for people. We're gonna change people's lives. So I'm excited to do it with you. Ah, <sighs> now let's eat. <laughs> <laughs>
has a hard time keeping up. And that's when I reached out to Titan Medical to assist me in being able to perform my best and look my best. So one of the most important steps when you're starting to work with Titan Medical Center is getting your blood work done. So I was very fortunate that when my blood work was done, everything came back within a healthy range, which was great. Um, in the past, I actually had struggled with a blood clotting disorder. So working with the medical providers was essential in order to get me on the proper therapies. Um, but it was really great knowing that when I started Titan, I was already at a healthy level and knowing that the vitamins and the aminos and the peptides that I was going to be taking was just going to make me even better. So currently the Titan therapies that I am on are Titan Complete, the hair, skin and nails capsules, the injectable biotin, AOD, glutathione and Hercules potion. How do I feel now? Better than good and better than most. I wake up in the morning and I've got a ton of energy. I feel very rested. I feel recovered, which is a huge difference from when I first started taking my supplements. So one thing I love the most about Titan is how they treat their patients. Unbelievable. So from the ladies at the front desk to the nurse practitioner, all amazing. So my nurse practitioner was Cass Fernandez and He's just really amazing. He takes the time to really understand my complicated medical history that I've had in the past. And it's just a cool person in general. When I first started coming to Titan, I was doing IV therapies to help me rehydrate, especially on the weeks where I was heavy with um, insulation extractions where I'm stuck in attics for hours and hours and hours and it's hot. So he really got an understanding for who I was as a person, what my lifestyle was, and I felt like he really cared. For the record, I am extremely happy as a Titan patient. Thank you, Titan Medical Center, for everything. I really appreciate it. Confidence, strength, performance. These are just a few things that Titan Medical Center can help you with. For more information, call or text us at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that are going to help you guys in your relationship now or maybe that future relationship you're going to have. So we like to come up with a couple different topics every week that will definitely benefit you guys in a lot of different ways when it comes to your relationship and personal growth. Mm -hmm. So this week... You know, we were thinking about, you know, different <laughs> topics, what we're going to do, kind of going back one. and forth, you know, and we're like, <laughs> you know, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, you don't want to set boundaries, right? Boundaries for work and work hours and all this different stuff, especially with the way COVID is and a lot of people working from home mm -hmm. um, and they're all together, but they're not really together. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is something that is talked about and you guys should definitely do. And I think that we should do, but we don't fit the bill on this this aspect right it's yeah just, so john was saying he was like okay so you want to bring up a topic right and but we because he brought it up i'm like that's a great topic i mean everybody should do that absolutely but it's kind of like us telling you guys because i listen i can't lie right I, i'm a very straightforward person no hypocrites yes so we don't do this but do i think a successful relationship should probably do this yeah. i certainly do yeah I mean, you know, it, it, it's a it's a little bit different in our aspect and, and what we do um, to the normal couple that's usually out there. Usually, you know, they're working their job and they're into that job or whatever it is, and they're usually not working together. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so they have very different workspaces or different problems going on there, and it might flow into the night 
or later on and people might be thinking about it and you know they just don't know or they're stressed about crack it crack open their laptops you, you know, know they're, they're stressed about the the project they're on or, or doing whatever job they need to get done uh, so their boss doesn't ride them or, or get on them for that or fire them <laughs> so you know with us it's like listen we work together so we do the exact same thing so when we talk about things after hours and there is no shutting down for us you know that's a, another thing of being a business owner there's no there's no clock clocking out. Clock out. There's no, there's no clock in, clock no out. No time card like, for us. There's no time card as far as that goes. So, yeah. you know, even for us, like we have to set those times. Like you know, we're we're not going to get into anything work wise or try not to talk about it. You know, as easy as it sounds, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It, it really is. It's you, hard. You know, you think about something that you just, don't want to forget that pops up right. You're like, oh man, like I got to say this now or whatever because. I might forget it or I might just pass <laughs> over and it might have been something really good or something important. So, um, or something that's, you know, that's, that's like on high alert that we need to take care of right away. Right. So that, that's just a little difference with us, but you know, even with us, you got to shut it down sometimes Some have that, point. that, you know, so you get back to normalcy. Right. And this is another thing where COVID has disrupted normalcy in people's lives. Things they used to do on a, a normal basis, normal mm-hmm. habits out there. You know, enjoying themselves, going on romantic dates in all different aspects, whether it be the movie theater, which is... Uh, that's I, our favorite place. Uh, that's our favorite place, but it hasn't came back yet all the I way. Know. Like, you know, like, there's not being movies released every weekend. There's a couple new ones out there that I definitely want to go see. Yeah, let's go. You know, like, one or two, like, I think... Released, <laughs> let's but, go this weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go right now. So, you know, so you guys should get back to normalcy, you know, set those times for, for those periods, you know, uh, where you have romantic time or normalcy time per se where you guys just are enjoying each other yeah because i mean listen it's so easy because everything's on your phone now right right i mean you don't even need a laptop you can literally just have my entire business is on my phone right yeah. i got all the emails set up all the text messages every single app i need to be able to just operate so just so easy to just grab the phone and you're in bed right say you guys are laying next to each other yeah. like oh let me just answer this one email real quick yeah. oh let me just do this one response real quick oh let me do a couple of just text messages next thing you look at the time and you know you look over and it's like <sighs> done sleeping no 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 intimate time nope. no no hanging out watching it like a, a some tv you nope. know just laughing about something <laughs> sharing a moment you know none of that because nope. there's not now they're sleeping nope. because you were too busy on your phone so i mean this is important to be able to differentiate the time frames and it's not just at night my big one a big one and and you know john has worked on this for many many years is having that phone or having anything during like the time we eat yep. like that is a huge thing to me i don't know if it's just because i grew up that way you know during that time frame that was just an untouchable time frame you couldn't do anything else in that time frame but just be with one another and talk to each other while you you know basically break bread you know so you know it's important that you're not like on your phone and now we got you know me and peter we're talking about our day and he's missing it you know, but he's come a long way in this because you used to do it all the time. Used to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, I, but at the end of the day, here's here's where it comes into play. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, it's like 15 minutes. It's 15 or 20 minutes. Just put it down for two seconds. No one cares. Okay, for 15 minutes, and you know, enjoy the time because that time goes by so quick, guys. That's cool. You know, quick. like you got to understand, like you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. The next hour is never guaranteed. You know, we had one of our good friends pass away, yes. you know, um, yes. recently. So it's like, you just don't know what's gonna happen. Don't. So you gotta have that time with your significant other, kids, whatever it might be, you know, parents, whatever. But make sure that you allocate something, some sort of time frame in there, you know. For us, specifically over the years, I've tried to really just wind down around you know eight o'clock because i used to just i used to just go until like 1 a.m 2 a.m you know then i got covid that made me sick and made me force me to stop and realize what's going on and this is one of the things i came to realize <laughs> that i need to slow down so you know like it's different with us working together but if you don't work together like your significant other might have animosity towards this after a certain period of time like mm-hmm. You know why are you always doing this why can't you spend time with us and mm-hmm. then listen i know the the devil's advocate to that and mm-hmm. listen like i said i'm working you know i'm trying to you know learn, earn a living and bring money into the <laughs> household and all that so it's really a, a double-edged sword there but you got to find that balance 
um, especially with your significant other and if your family, if you have a family out there. And you don't so realize it too, though. You don't know. You, you don't. really don't because you're just, you know, if you're just going, 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 you may not realize it. So take this show, this episode, to really pick it out of your day and realize that you're doing it. And, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because you don't. It's just, Be aware. Be it's, aware. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard looking from the outside in from at yourself i guess but, but yeah. take that look um For but sure. it will definitely help you guys out relationship too especially if you tell your partner listen we're gonna spend this this time together like you know and like block off the time whatever it is you know put the phone on you know do, do not disturb for a little bit or whatever it is That's so tough. you're not looking at it you yeah. know because it's it's it is like an addiction like you have the phone you have it in your hands Ding. we're all used to it <laughs> you know going back to the story where uh sharice was talking about you know let's not using the phone at the dinner table you know, it's funny because when we were talking about growing up, right, we didn't have cell phones like that, or we did, but it wasn't in use the way it is now. But it was, hey, listen, your friend's calling on the phone. Tell your friend not to be calling during dinner. This is yeah, dinner time. Yeah, I remember that. Right? Yep. Because it was a cell phone, so, you know. So it was on the, re- on the actual it. house that's phone. It. Tell him you'll call him after dinner. He'll call you after dinner, you know. It, it is what it is. So we've come a long it's way. It's come a long way. It's come a long way. You know, technology is obviously a blessing, but, it, you know, it, it should be used in the right ways because it could be a curse, too, in this light of technology. You know, people are glued to their phones, mm-hmm. whether you're a 12-year-old or 11-year-old like our son or... You know, you're a four year old like me or older guy, fifty, whatever it is. It just it just it's crazy. So at that point, listen guys, get off the cell phones, yep. get away from the distractions. Another one is joint distractions and they asked me for this, what is joint distractions? Like, what does that mean? So joint distraction <laughs> is is you guys are sitting on a couch together and you guys are watching a movie together, which is awesome, right? It's bonding time, you'd think. Or you guys are both scrolling on your cell phones or your iPads, your tablets. So I got something. So wait, wait, you know what you do. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what you do. What? Yeah, you know what you do. Because it's great. So if you guys are watching this movie together, and let's just say like you know, if both of you guys are on your phones, I mean you can stop. But I'm saying if one of them's on the phone, you can just be like, hey, did you see that funny part? <laughs> and then he'll be like, uh, like did you need me to rewind it? It's fun. That's that's <laughs> one thing. Or you guys, I mean, you guys can be talking about what's going on in the movie really lightly. Don't be that person that just talks about everything that's going on in the movie. <laughs> Unless your partner knows you and likes you for that. That can Maybe. be a, a little quirk. That's me, true. For me, I, I, I wouldn't like that. But no, we do wouldn't. have a little conversation within the movie like, oh, my God, I can't believe this or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, and do always laugh about it or whatever. Now, that's Bonnie. You know, you yeah. guys are talking. You guys are interacting about the similar thing that you guys are watching. So that's just another thing I guess you guys can do. But listen, get back to normalcy. You know, some states are taking back restrictions. Florida is pretty much one of the open, most open states there is out there yeah. still to this day. So at that point, you guys can do some of this cool stuff that's out there. You know, even in Tampa, I mean, they have the little robo scooters or whatever. You guys can go scootering around the electronic scooters or, you know, you guys can go check out, like, Riverwalk. I mean, in Florida, there mm-hmm. is so many different places There's a lot. Um, that you can go, whether it's the different beaches or the new pier in St. Pete or whatever it is, you know, I mean, it doesn't cost a lot of money or it might not cost you any money at all just to do. So at that point, that will definitely open up hopefully new doors for you guys, new experiences for you guys, which will increase the love that you guys have for each other. Well, you know, it's just funny you bring this up too, because, you know, I won't say who it is, obviously, Mm. but we have a good friend of ours that's now currently going through a divorce. Um, but they were only Divorce. married, Boo. right, for a year. And I guess, like, right after, and they were together two years prior to that. So but I guess three years in. So I guess right after they got married, they stopped dating. Like, you can't stop dating each other. No. Like, it's so important. And we'll save that for another, you know, episode. But <laughs> it's important. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, because what are you saying right now? Like, going to do whatever together. Going to do dinner together. Going to do scooters together. Going to do something together. Get back those things that you guys like you're, to do you're, together. You're dating. You know, yeah. like, it's a date. Like, just set, even if it's once a week, set a date. You know, me and John have been super slammed with events lately. Like, yeah. super, super slammed. And, and work. We're, and we're all, like, you know, it, so and if we're kids. not working or around Peter, we're around, like, 500 other people. So we're not really ever around, like, just each other. And, and honestly, this week even, I was like, huh. You know, maybe it's just we should just go to dinner, just me and him, you know, and just go to dinner and just have dinner, just me and him. So and that was something I didn't, you know, obviously voice to you just yet. But, you know, maybe we should go to dinner tomorrow. That'd be great. Um, But yeah, (laughs) it's important to continue dating. 
It is. It's important. It's your time. It's your time. It's definitely your time. It's set that time apart because it is important. And when you have that time, make sure you guys are focused on what you guys should be focused on. Yeah, don't be on your phones. Your partner, Don't right? be on your phones. And, and having a fun time and enjoying each other's company. If you guys aren't at that level, you guys need to work to get back at that level. Mm-hmm. You know, some couples, they, they go on dates and they have nothing to talk about anymore. I know. It's like, like, what do you, how does that happen? You know, obviously you guys had some common ground in the beginning. You know, and then some people, they grow apart. Now, that's because, what, they're not sharing experiences with each other, they're not communicating, mm-hmm. you know, one's mad at each other, you know, for something. You know, there's something that's that's there, um, and it's causing problems or friction between you guys, and you guys try to alleviate that problem. Mm-hmm. You know, talk about it. Communication. Last communication. one. We always talk about communication. it. Communication. So. Need um, that communication. That's where you guys should definitely, that's the alpha and the omega, the start, the, the beginning and the end. It's all about communication, mm-hmm. no matter what part of the relationship you're in, and don't become complacent, like she said. Mm-hmm. You know, that's 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 a downer for both sides, I think. Like, who wants to be stuck in a relationship where it's like, blah? Like, it's it's so easy to get caught in the routines of yeah. daily life. Like, you're like, all right, you know, we get up, we work, or like, uh, get up, get the kid ready, get him breakfast, take him to school, <laughs> come back, get ready, right? Work. Work all day. Work more. Know, come home. Feed and work the kid. More. Talk a little bit. You know, try to work out. Go then to go sleep. to sleep. Get up. Do, do it, it again. again. <laughs> like that's a routine. And listen, that's healthy to do. And that's that's really where you find the most productivity is when you get in that routine and you really, you know, you're hitting every every aspect or every timeline that you're supposed to be doing with time management. But that could be uh that could be a down on the relationship. So if you do do that and you want to get, you know, you're so structured and you're so OCD where I need these blocks of time, I need this, you better schedule in the time for your partner. Yeah. It's what it is. For sure. So at that point, you're good. You can still stay in that routine. And at that point, you guys have some time together and you guys can enjoy each other. And you guys both aren't going to be growing apart, but growing together in the same aspect. Just a tip for you guys. So at the, you know, I got to throw a tip in there somewhere. If you guys are at dinner and your significant other is on their phone, all you have to say is, who are you talking to? Ooh. And then, you know, then they'll say who it is. And it doesn't have to, you know, it'll be anybody, right? And then you'll be like, and I've said it before, you know, I'm like, uh, that's that's not that important right now. And then, you know, then it, it'll force them to put their phone away. And eventually, if they respect you enough and they like to spend time with you, then whenever you guys eventually start going to dinner, you know, occasionally, they just won't do it. It just, it becomes, it becomes a thing where you just don't do it. Mm-hmm. It is easy to do because it's like sitting there vibrating just don't do it. You got to think about it, though. You got to really think about it. I guess you do. <laughs> you do. It's like anything else. <laughs> anyway, guys, so <laughs> these are just some tips and tricks from me and Charisse. And, you know, like I said, we don't want to be hypocrites about it, but definitely set time uh, when you're not working and stuff. Just set some time for you and your partner to enjoy each other. All right, guys. We'll see you back next Sunday, 11 a.m. for Cupid's Corner and every Sunday after that. And if you guys missed the show, you guys want to check out the show, check out our YouTube Go there, subscribe, hit the all notifications, (laughs) and uh, we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. See you then.